23 and me, 23 and me, Sansa and Arya from Game of Thrones. <laughs> anyway, hey guys, we we've all have you gotten your results back? We've done 23 and me. Yeah. I've never thought about doing anything like this until 23 and Lee me came into my life. Mm. Um, I found out many things about myself. I'm 80% Korean. No, 90% Korean 90, 90. and 10% the other one. <laughs> Japanese. The other one. <laughs> um, the, the other one. The other one. And we um, let me say something right now. It tells you specific things that are very, very interesting. Ooh. Like, for instance, Bobby has a muscle composition or muscle trait that of an elite power athlete, just like myself. I believe it. So we're going to have some athletes, babe. Yeah, even like little things like cilantro taste aversion. Oh, you're really familiar you, with this? Okay, so some people, um, some people, when they eat cilantro, it tastes like soap. Yeah, yeah not me. And yeah, not me. Not you either? Some people eat avocado and it tastes different. Do you know that? No. Really? Yeah. Avocado is one of them? Or was it cilantro? Cilantro there. Cilantro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's cilantro. Yeah. But same thing. <laughs> um, mosquito bite frequency. Yeah. Some people are, are more um, susceptible to that, you yeah. know? There's a lot of very specific things. It's not ex- that expensive. It's it's state of the art stuff here, guys, and uh, and it's just we've really all fun it's to fun. share it with other people. Yeah, you know, oh, we realize that Kalila is point oh six Jew. Love it. It's great. Ashkenazi. Yeah. Ashkenazi. Gentle over here. Yeah. Um. But have you guys gotten your results back? Not yet. Uh, they're getting the results as processes. But <laughs> now through uh, December twenty fifth, get thirty percent off any twenty three me kit. Order your DNA kit at 23andMe.com slash TigerBelly. That's the number 23andMe.com slash TigerBelly. Again, that's 23andMe.com slash TigerBelly. Tiger ba- and Repeat me. it, please, for us, Gil. That's 23andMe.com slash TigerBelly. 23andMe, Sansa and Aria. <laughs> Five, four, three, two... Sansa and Aria, Sansa and Aria, sisters in the snow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome to another episode of Tiger Belly. My name is Bobby Montgomery Lee. (laughs) And um, we are here with the elaborate and very sophisticated George Keimel. Mm-hmm. We're here also with Gilbert Galon. Hello, hello. Hello. And uh, we're also here with um, Kalila Kion. Hello, Kalila Kion. Did I get that correct? You did. Kalila Kion. Where is that from? Mm, it's from a northeastern <coughs> town <coughs> of excuse Mongolia. Me, excuse, me, excuse me, sir. Excuse me. I, You're Mongolian then? Yes. Ah, interesting. Interesting. Um, we also have Kaimo. George yes, Kaimel, yes. where are you from? Origins of your name, sir. Where's that from? The, from the etymology of your name. Etymology. Ooh. Yes, the etymology. It's from a small town in southwestern Poland. It's actually you don't have to do that with name. your voice because you just normally sound like that. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you normally sound well, okay, like that. So a, you don't, just use German, your regular voice. It's German for cumin. Very uh, classy <laughs> uh, culinary uh, etymology. Uh, uh, Wait, I would change my answer. Seed. It's are, we, are we doing seed. real answers? I don't even know my real one. Oh, the, anyway, the, origin, the origin of my name is supposed to have an umlaut on top of the U. Oh, yeah, and too. it's from um, either Eastern Europe or Germany. Mm. One of the two. Uh, my, my Korean name is um, Songu, which if you translate it, it's um, stale juice. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Stale juice? Yeah. The stale family juice. of stale juice. Yes. Wow, yes. I love it. Anyway, back to me, the <laughs> captain. Welcome to another episode. Listen, um, I do have many animals at home. I have three cats, three dogs. We had a Zen master come over this weekend. What's his name? What's the his Zen master? His name is Matt Beisner from the Zen Dog. From the Zen Dog. My, Matt Beisner has a ch- show coming out on <laughs> called... Wait, we're not supposed to say it, babe. He never... You can say it. Say it again, say it again. He has a show coming out. He has a show coming out. On some place, mm-hmm. some kind of network, yeah, or... yeah, yeah. Remind, it, it's like. <laughs> MTV. Anyways, go on. I think you're trying to say MTV. What's going on? Tell us about. <laughs> yeah. 
so <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. I still don't know what you're saying, so <laughs> it's okay. Um, so he came over um, because we have a problem puppy, which is everyone knows Julio. Mm-hmm. And um, he came in. He's bald, white, tall, and he's very calm. Mm-hmm. He's he's like if imagine like if value met human form. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, it's true. Even his presence was so calming Hello. for me. And I'm like, oh shit, I'm not misbehaving right now. <laughs> like oh, he, he got you in a trance. Yeah, he oh, got me in a trance. You didn't want to play video games. Uh, yeah, I couldn't play video games. And then, and I was very quiet. Do you remember, like, when he first came out, I was very quiet, just looking at him. Let me tell you something about Bobby. Usually when someone new comes in the house, he showcases. Yeah. He's very loud. He likes to, like... I'll do a belly roll. Yeah. I'll do some, like, breakdancing moves. He'll I'll do, do, like, peacock. the worm on peacock. the floor. Thank yeah, you. he likes the peacock. Yeah. But when Matt came, came through the door, it was it was he was immediately subdued into a corner of the home. Also, he I had just there. woken up and had two hours of sleep. Well, that too. Oh, okay. Okay, that, that too. But um, he comes in, and I didn't say anything. Until he brings up the fact that he knew that I did stand up, then I loosened up. So, which was like two hours after. That was two hours in. Yeah. And you guys have friends in common. Yeah. Oh. We have friends in common. Yeah. Um, I know his ex roommate. But anyway, this guy. <laughs> what? Anyway, this guy um, taught us how to walk the dogs. Um, he he told us about, you know. Dogs and dogs have their space, mm. and human beings they encroach the space without even, you know, asking if the it's okay with for the dog. Like for instance, if you put your hand in front of a dog's mouth, and they pull they pull their head head away, that means I don't want to I don't want to be touched right now. I think and before you're in my space. like the. Like the antiquated way of thinking was always that you have to dominate your animal, you have to dominate, and like you have to break them in or something like that. And that's 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 actually not how it works at all. I think it's about like mutual respect, and that's what he goes by. I have my own. And own. Um, but with Julio, no, because he, especially for a guy Julio? like Julio, uh, try try saying try subduing him mm-hmm. with with the your usual dominating tactics. I fucking dare you. I, I haven't had will. enough time. No, no, no. Oh but see, that's that a demon, that's a demon but dog also, when you try to walk it. You also keep in mind, George. <laughs> keep in mind that this guy has studied this for like the past twenty years. So if you, if I'm not gonna mm. listen to you, I'm gonna listen to this guy. <laughs> also, also, he's worked with wolves. He's done. He's studied the behavior of dogs of over fucker. decades. Who is this guy? So between you and wolves. him, I'm gonna take his advice. You don't even know. But, yeah, George Farms. <laughs> Um, I, I mean, I, I know that my theory, I know how to discipline to get a dog straight. I have my own theories about it, but I just can't, I don't want to. Is that why it works with, is that why Julio's a fucking. Uh, uh, can I tell you how, uh, what you, I would do? Can, can I tell you what I would do? On. Yeah, go ahead. I'll book a two way ticket for okay. all the three dogs, right, to Yulin, China. <laughs> Jeez. All right. <laughs> we'll go to the dog eating festival. Yeah. I'll have them leashed. And I will bring them in the middle of the festival, mm. and I will look at each one of them in the eyes and go, "This is the alternative." Ah, I like you. It's like a scare tactic. Yes, like like uh, scare uh, straight, scare straight, scare straight. Yeah. Yes, it's my version of it, oh. right? And then I'd make them eat a stew. You <laughs> of their own. <laughs> you yeah, yeah, of their own. You make the cannibals immediately. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you eat the stew of okay. another dog, and then I'm gonna go to Peru, okay, with my cats, and go. You know, there's a cat eating festival there ridiculous in Peru, in Peru. Jeez. and I'll bring all my cats there and go this is hey you want because they have this thing where they throw the cat in this kind of stadium and then they try, they blow they try to bone, bone arrow oh the cat God, oh it's terrible. like that yeah it's like Hunger Games jeez okay um, and I'll bring Goonie and go this look you know you want to compete behave stop pooping on the floor yeah he also made a around. very interesting point about just being alpha He's like, you know, we've domesticated dogs for however long, like thousands of years, right? Or I don't know how many years. Mm. The fact that you have to show dominance in that way means that you're not alpha. We've domesticated them. They already know we're alpha. That means you're beta. If you have to constantly assert yourself in that way and show them who's boss, maybe you're not alpha. Mm. Right. So 
Another thing that he said also was that the likelihood that, you know, Julio was ripped off the mom at two weeks old. I don't know his history those early two weeks, but he says that Julio's brain is likely underdeveloped. He didn't get the nutrients he's that retarded. he needed. And he is. There is, is he's like a, <laughs> he's comparable to like a, 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 a sociopath. He's missing parts. Yeah. He has missing screws that altogether. That makes so much sense. It yeah. does? With that dog, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's just something so off about him. Even when something he was three weeks him. old, he was already lifting his... Um, is that not normal? No way. And he was hypersexual. He's a very primal dog. Very sexual, yeah. I mean, he still tries to fuck Gobi. And you guys... And, he, and, he, and he, we took his nuts away. But that's not the most abnormal part about him. The most abnormal part about him is just his cues and the way he responds to things. Take my nuts away. See what happens. I feel like <laughs> what, you're not... <laughs> First of all, what would happen? What? what? I would literally just be just a jelly on the on the couch. <laughs> I would have no reason to live. Take my nuts away. I feel like you're at. You want them. You want to be a eunuch. Is that what that call? They call it like in Game eunuch? of Thrones, right? Like that guy yeah. from Game Oh wait, Varys. he but yeah. he has um, no dick either. That's a eunuch, right? Wait, could you just have the? Yeah, you know, listen. I, I, I've always thought about that. I, I knew a guy, a kid who went to Greece. Okay. Not not the play, but the country. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He didn't go into the play. He didn't go to. Yeah. And he went to Greece, and he was on a moped, and he got in an accident. And his dick got ripped off. Ugh. Off his butt, all his old. He's dick? from my hometown. Of Poway. Yeah. And I think they attached half of it back. Yeah, and I think it still kind of works. Yeah. You know, does he have balls? It works. I said. I don't know. I haven't seen it. Yeah. But I, I when I heard about it, I thought to myself, "Oh man, like I don't." And then you imagine yourself, and would I be able to function in society without a penis? And I think I would. And I'd stay it, with I, you. Thank you. And I think, thank you. Mm-hmm. And I think that um, in many ways, um, it would be different life. In what ways? Well, I mean, um, <laughs> uh, I don't like the way you said, um. Well, in the ways of like, you, th- you know, you, not now, but like throughout my whole life, you know, you thought, I thought about women or Kalila or sex often. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And that's just that's like it consumes a certain section of your day. Sure, it's always there, right? And it's almost as like oh, it's a waste of time. It's like why you you're constantly thinking about it. So if I had no dick and balls, I might have gotten gotten a lot done. What do you think? Interesting. Maybe, but you say a lot of times that the reason you wanted to be great at stand up initially. The driving force was that Women. so girls would look at you. Mm-hmm. So maybe you wouldn't have that same desire. So you wouldn't. You would just like live <laughs> as a blob. No, because you st- because the, the, that's only half of it. The other half, though, is survival, right? Mm. Like I, you know, you in this society we live in, this modern day society, capital, all that's yeah. capitalism, all that, right? It's either me become me living in like the desert. Right, you know, in a cliff. Sure. I don't know how desert people live. I don't know if you said it's cliff, but yeah. Yeah, thank you, man. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah. And um, no, I would probably want to still be a part of society and make a living. And so, um, a lot of my motivations was also financial to do stand up because I'm like, I can't just work at coffee shops for the rest of my fucking life. Mm-hmm. I never be able to buy anything. You know. Wouldn't you need the testosterone to be active? You can st- you, without a dick. You're still you still have a lot of testosterone. Your testosterone is a hormone that that actually starts in your adrenal glands. Yeah, you like didn't know that the know. the ingredients yeah. needed also, to make testosterone that is eventually you don't have to adrenal, tell me, you don't tell me about adrenal glands. Adrenal glands. I'm a man. man. Yeah. Not all of it, but I'm just saying some of it. Yeah, it stores in your adrenograms. Where was it storing? Adrenograms. Adrenograms. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It's right there. Well, the answer is it like, absorbs through your molecules. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and right, then babe? it makes its way down, and then it gets down final, to your fucking... like packaged. Goes finally. under the knees, huh, babe? What? It goes all the way down to the knees <laughs> yeah. and back it's up. It's stored in your kneecaps, yeah. actually. Comes from adrenal glands, right? Knees and the shoulders. Goes right down to your knees. Yeah. It comes back up, to shoots to, to your the... elbows, right to your temples, back down to your glands. <laughs> and then there you are. Wow. Your glands. <laughs> not efficient route. Thank yeah. you. It, it's a very efficient. It's, it? quick. Okay. it's quick. It's a quick? It's very quick. Well, the answer is my question then. If I had to choose a dick or balls, I would definitely just keep the dick. 
The shaft. Sorry. I would keep my balls. What you just said, I don't need it for testosterone. <laughs> yeah. That's no, what no, I was no, worried no, about no, no. was if I didn't have balls, I wouldn't oh, have testosterone. Oh, no, no. You need your balls. What? What? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened to the glands? What happened to the glands part? You guys don't understand me. You you thought that the the testosterone is made in your adrenal, but then stored in your dick shaft? No, I was thinking if I had to choose one, what could I live without? You, I would rather keep my. Imagine, I told you guys that it's event. It's stored. It's stored, stored in your, get your sack. Your shit together, lady. Okay, well then say sac. Don't yeah. say adrenal glands. Yeah. No, but it's made like you think that's just. Oh my but you God, need the storage fucking... facility. Is that what you're saying? You need a storage facility. Then well, that. That's what we were saying. We were saying that could we function without a sack? Okay, so what I'm saying is. <laughs> yeah. What, what do, do you, you say? say? Chop your dick off, and not your balls. Ah. Uh, Listen. Okay. There, your gonads mm. is where your testosterone. That was my nickname in high school. Oh, okay. really? <laughs> yeah, gonads. So it's so moving. <laughs> why would they call you that? I don't know why. So there's two places where your testosterone is made. Mm -hmm. Your adrenal glands and then your Leydig cells, which are in your gonads, right? Mm -hmm. And together, they make testosterone and it's stored. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Together what? You don't want to chop. Touch your knee a lot. You don't want to chop off your gonads because that's where it's made. Yeah. I'm going to just say this. Uh, without my dick, the, the balls can go. Okay, but what's worse? Exactly. I, I, it's, it's, like, why would you want the drive if you don't have the tool? That's what I'm saying. So why, why, would, do, why I don't want any of it. Why would you want like gasoline without the automobile? Yeah. Just to light the fire outside of your home? I've never thought of it that way. That was but a good analogy. That was very good very analogy. analogy. <laughs> where do you put the, <laughs> the gasoline, you know? Yeah, yeah. Where do you put it? Wouldn't the body naturally find a place? Like, would it go to my breast? Do you think that your tits will get hard? Maybe. You get erect somewhere else? I used to have this fantasy that... Um... <laughs> you would die without testosterone, by the way. Okay. Well, you need you need it. If I was some sort of mutant and I had, like, my right hand, I was born with a vagina. <laughs> sure. <laughs> right. Okay. Imagine how cool that would be. Cool? Yeah, just a tight vagina. On your right hand? On my right hand. Okay, I'm, I, it's in my head now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Continue. And then, you know, I still have pee pee down there. This is a fantasy? Yeah, anyway. Um, <laughs> what? I don't know why I just said that. <laughs> you also smiled too, and she yeah, was like, know. Dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's way fantasy. too easy. That is true. Like, like, the bottom of my foot, then. I don't want, yeah. <laughs> Okay, much better. <laughs> That's very challenging. I know. I know what you would Be do. Flexible. Yeah. yeah. You would. You would intentionally remove like six of your ribs. What? Yeah, so that you would be more flexible. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. Your own oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can't do it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I always thought that God fucked up? I think here's 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 where God, I know you guys believe in the Lord Jesus, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but this is where God fucked up. This is a Christian podcast. It is. It is. But think of it this, though. Okay. The asshole should be on the bottom of your foot. No. no. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm with us. <laughs> yes. Hear me out. Okay. So let's say it's on everyone's right foot. So the shoes you would develop is you have a little hatch on the bottom of the shoe, right? And all, you don't even, you don't even have to fucking go to a bathroom. You just put your foot. You out. You just put your foot out, right, in a field like a dog would. Mm -hmm. You shit. It's not embarrassing. Okay, so then you're telling me that, okay, because your GI system consists of your mouth all the way down to your anus, right? You're telling me now all of these things, your all right of leg. the poo has to travel down your quadriceps <laughs> yeah. and down of, down into your fucking gastrocnemius, yeah. down into your little <laughs> fucking feet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Ooh, into would, a hole. That would change the game in MMA. Leg yeah, kicks but, would Can I just say this though? Like, From my mouth to my asshole, <laughs> calf. It, it, I don't feel nothing. It works. But you don't think you'd feel it. So why would why would I think that it's from the from the stomach to my foot? What what this? This is a, a Babe, little extra mile. Your foot is supposed extra to take you places, not hinder you. It won't hinder me. Well, you listening, Skechers? Start the. <laughs> you had the wheelie. Now you have the hatchet poop shoe. <laughs> oh, we have an ad. <laughs> good segue. That's the good segue. Oh, before we get to that, we have a sp 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 sponsor. Brooklinen, Brooklinen, yeah. Brooklinen, Brooklinen, 
Lennon. Jesus. You guys, you guys. You Brooke okay? Lennon. No? Let's do it again. <laughs> Lennon. I love it. Brooke Lennon is my favorite. Uh, no, let me do the different theme song. Okay. Brooke Lennon, Ariane, Sansa. Sansa. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys, we use um, Brooke Lennon in all our homes. Um, they're sheets that are literally the best sheets I've ever used in my life. Uh, you spend a lot of your time in sheets, I realize, especially Kalila and I. Mm-hmm. And we cuddle up in it, or sometimes we don't. Um, we get angry with each other. But other than that, we're still on, we're Brooklyn, still and on Brooklyn and Sheets. <laughs> and yeah. um, they really are the most comfortable sheets I've ever owned. Tell them, tell them about it. Brooklyn and Sheets are the best, most comfortable sheets Bobby's ever slept on. Now it's time for your upgrade. Brooklinen.com is giving an exclusive offer just for Tiger Belly listeners. Get $20 off in free shipping when you use the promo code TIGERBELLY at Brooklinen.com. Dot com. Brooklyn is so confident in their product that all their sheets, comforters, and towels come with a lifetime warranty. The only way to get $20 off and free shipping is to use the promo code TIGERBELLY at brooklinen.com. That's B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N.com. Promo code TIGERBELLY. These are the best sheets Linen. ever. Linen. Now back to the show. Um, Speaking of 23andMe... Um, <laughs> They have to develop one for dogs. Have I talked to said they that? They do. Or, the, how, how come we have never done it? Because um, I was told that some companies are really kind of full of shit. Um, like my friend who had like for sure 100% like pit bull. Right. Right. It looked like a pit bull, white paws, everything. It was a pit bull. Yeah. But she just did it just to kind of like, you know, humor herself. Yeah. And it came with some funky results. And actually a couple people told me that. I don't think it's very specific. But I think that there is... Then why do we trust the human ones? <laughs> Good point. Oh, well, well, we shouldn't be talking about 23andMe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I trust the human ones, Bobby, especially 23andMe. 23andMe is the best one. It's but, the best. You know. I'm going to find the genetic testing, a good one for dogs. Because I want to know... I want to know what all my animals have. Mm-hmm. I want to know how exact... How old Remy is. We don't know how old Remy is. People are saying he's six or seven. No. That dude's 15, bro. Damn, it's old. Dude, he's shake. He's just an old fucker, and we don't know. We, people can make assumptions. Yeah. Yeah. But they go, oh, well, you, you can tell by the teeth. That's what they said the other day. I go, yeah, but he's missing some. Yeah, that also depends on whether or not they've ever received like cleanings. Right. So we don't oh. know. Yeah, Remy could be. Well, he doesn't have front teeth. He's pungug. Yeah, so he could be way older. What is that? What are you doing? I was just getting yeah. hot, dude. That's. You're so dumb, George. So dumb. Oh my! That shirt is that me and Bobby? <laughs> no, no. Let me look at that shirt. It says Stevie or no, Gilbert. No, PD. Is that Steve? No, it's Gilbert and Bobby, or Gilbert and Bobby. Look at Bobby's face. Yeah, that's me to the left with the beanie. Yeah. I'm with the so mustache. glad I'm not in that picture. And I wonder did, how who, they would draw you. That, who did that shirt? Shout out to Ki Wong Lee. It's my favorite. Ki Wong Lee? Yep. Ki Wong Lee, you're out. You're, uh, you're out of the slop kingdom. You're out of the slop kingdom. kingdom. No. no longer a sleeper. No, 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 no. That, that, that's, that's blasphemy. He was slop king for the week, I thought. I was that's gonna blasphemy get right there, dude. Wow. We're just tiny. Wow. Holding we're holding tiny George's little hand. gooks. The white holding man. the white man's hand. The white hand. man's hand. That's yeah, America wow. right there. Wow. That's America right there, dude. <laughs> Look at your little face, how mad you are that I'm leading you. Yeah, but you're holding his hand anyway. Mm-hmm. And look at look at um, Gilbert, just a look, fucking yes man for days. Look at that smiling so much. <laughs> I'm smiling so. He doesn't give You know fuck, who makes bro. me sad, Gil, is yeah. that you look like one of those like poor Filipino kids that I see back oh, home I, the, with the, the oversized, the oversized shirt? shirt. And I'm like, no. Can I have halo halo? <laughs> yeah, George looks cool in that though. That's a pretty cool shirt. They, they only made one of them. No, I, uh, he I found it. his art. I found his art on Instagram. And you made it. And yourself. you made a <laughs> shirt. <laughs> yep. You it, made that. <laughs> oh, you're a loser. Oh God. It was my I birthday have present. You fired. It was my birthday present to me. He made a, he made the art for my birthday, oh, so I made my myself God. a T-shirt for my birthday. So how do you? Oh, so you find you can find the art. You so any <laughs> art that I find online, I can make into a T-shirt. Yeah. 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 How, oh, babe? We just contact just go to like a, yeah. or like a level press or something. Yeah. Oh, there's so many shirts I want to make. Do it. Can you do it for me? Yes, we can sir. do that. You let us know. We'll do it. Why are, can't we? Are they all of your face? Yeah. <laughs> Why can't we get one of those machines here? We, we could. We have one. George has yeah. one. We have yeah. a presser. We I have, have a screen print. But you, yeah. you don't know how to use it? We've used it. Yeah. What'd you use it on? Just uh, making simple stuff. For uh, the fans at the Stevie's, live show. Stevie's uh, a few like of uh, the Stevie Little Ray shirts. Oh, Little Ray shirts. Uh, yeah, the ones uh, 
all the uh, all the ones at the live show, remember? Yeah. That we gave to folks. Cult leaders. So those yeah. cult leaders. Oh, uh, so you know, Stevie, we went to Thanksgiving too. Did we talk about that? Yet? No. Yeah. Where'd you guys go? So we went to um, San Diego. I have a co- my okay. So um, I have cousins. I have twenty eight first cousins. I don't know if you guys know this. It's a lot. I mean, most of them, most of them, I don't talk to. How many would you say are close to? None. Oh, really? But the ones that I'm closest to is probably these two, okay. Eddie and Jenny. Oh, Eddie, yeah. Yeah, and then the rest, and then the rest of them, Sharon, the Catherine, Catherine was also there. Who, when I was growing up, I didn't know her at all. Mm-hmm. Um, but other than that, I mean, I don't. And then when I was in Portland, I saw Paul, Choi, one of my other cousins. But um, yeah, we went down there, and I saw my uncle, and my aunt, which I haven't seen in your dad's side. On my dad's side, my dad's brother, I haven't seen him in like five years. But Steve hasn't seen him in like twenty five years. Wow. You know, and so when we walked in, my brother was very happy. You know, you know how gleeful mm-hmm. Steve he was, very, right? Mm-hmm. He was just like, "Oh my god, I can't believe it!" And we actually had a pretty good time, huh, babe? We did. I actually really, really like your family. Yeah, my family's pretty I cool. I really like Jenny. I love Jenny. Yeah. I love Eddie. Catherine yeah. was great. Her kids were great. Yeah. Wow. And her kids, I'm telling you guys. Are subhuman. It actually, what, meeting his family what, what? made me want to have children with him. What's with the kids? Then? Because it turns out he was just a little, um, he's, a, he's a blip. He's like a... <laughs> What do you mean? A blip. Uh, people in your family are actually kind of, they're tall. Yeah. They're super. Okay. <laughs> well. They're. I'm no blip. I'll tell you that right now. Like, <laughs> Kath, like Catherine's never kids call me that. Yeah. are like one of them, this girl Malia, 17, maybe 5'9", beach volleyball star, model, just a Jeez. fucking specimen. And her sons are specimens. specimens. One is like being drafted to the Yankees. Yeah, yeah, Wait, yeah. what? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Spe- specimens. Specimens. Yeah, yeah. Specimens. And then look at St- Steve and I, the trolls of the family. <laughs> <laughs> You're so tiny compared to yeah, everyone. Yeah, we're just like, ah, you know what I mean? Weird. They didn't, at first, they didn't even know what to do with us. And what, what do you mean? I mean like, we're just like weird guys. They're like, they know I'm sure those kids, they're all in high school. One of them is in college, but they're like, they're 50? <laughs> Right, I mean, think about it. We come in, right? Look at Steve. Yeah, Steve. Look at Steve. Everyone knows Steve, right? He's in his mid-40s, but they look at him and they go, that dude is almost 50? Right? And then we went up and played ping pong. And he tried to challenge the the super athlete in his family and got no, destroyed. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Bobby's good at ping pong. No, 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 no. He is. You know, no, no, he no. Is no. Can I just say this right really now? And, and I, and I will... I believe this to the day I die, okay? If I have the space, it would have been completely different. <laughs> was it like in a tiny room? I can't, because I, I play... What's so funny? <laughs> you have the same disadvantages as they have, unless they have I more, understand sa- that, more space I on their side. I play a deep ball, right? Play style. Mm-hmm. Right, so they play close to the table. I'm way back. I like, to, I like, to, I like the ball to drop, mm-hmm. right? Mm. And there was no room for that, Right. When when I was at Mad TV, Frank Frank Caliendo, who's a master, do you know that his dad is a master? I don't know he was that good. Yeah, he's one of the mm-hmm. best. Frank Caliendo, him and Judah Friedlander, who are both comics, mm-hmm. are masters of ping pong. Right? I can't beat them, but I can rally with them, and if I have the space, right? There was no space up there. I don't think you could have beat Jenny. No, I can't be with Jenny. Jenny's the best. But Jenny though is um was almost pro tennis player. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. She, no, she's a beast. She is. Yeah. Um Eddie's a beast too. They're all my brother's good. But Jenny is the best. The best. I know, all right. I'm just saying she schooled you guys. <laughs> like Jenny's she's the better than you. She's just like Jenny's beep, amazing. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah. Yeah, Jenny's amazing. She's always been amazing. But we went down there yeah. and um but here's the one thing I have about Thanksgiving. I just don't eat it. The food. You don't like the food? I, it, it, I've never been to a house in Thanksgiving where I sat down and I went, wow, I wish I could eat this every day. It's, I'm always there late. The food's been out, right? This is so true. You so came they late go, to my, mine. <laughs> what? Came, you didn't yeah. eat at mine last you didn't year. Eat at yours you, like, you picked at it. I noticed you didn't eat it. Yeah, I didn't eat Even it. Even when he comes to mine, he doesn't really eat. I don't eat oh, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't think that the Thanksgiving um, 
classics are your thing. Like, I don't think you're a big turkey guy. No, I don't I, think I, you're a big cranberry sauce guy. Oh, so good. You're uh, not I, into, I, you know. I'm stuff. a fucking big fan of those things. Really? Yeah. I just like it at restaurants. Oh. And here's another thing, dude. I've never gone to anyone's house except for, except for Kalila and my mom, maybe, where I went, that's good. Mm. At home. I've never been to a house where I went, wow. I always eat half of it to be polite and then make some sort of excuse. I have stomach issues. Well, I, you know, I'm not that hungry today or whatever. Or I'm sick. Yeah. Right? But, like, I don't eat at people's houses. I well, hate it. Why is that? It's just not as good. I think in your head you're eating. At restaurants. No way. Home food right. is so, so much better. So what you're better. saying to me this is if I went to Bestia... Okay, well, <laughs> the best restaurant in L.A. Well, I'm just saying, right? If I went to someone's house and they had food like Bestia, I- I'll tell you whose house I'd like to li- eat at. Curtis's. And you were going to say that. <laughs> Curtis Stone can cook me food at his house. <laughs> All right, you know what? David Chang. Sure, I'll go to David Chang's house. Yeah. And you can cook me a little breakfast or a meal, whatever. Bobby, whatever day. Bobby Flay? Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. meet up. Dang. Right? But I'm not going to eat at Steve's house. My brother. I heard he makes a mean you carne asada. Food? Yeah, but yours is the only one I'll eat. And when she makes it, to me, it's restaurant style. Thank you. Yes. But see, it's like you're, but you're not, got, not being fair with this. It's like if you went to Bestia, saw somebody's table after 45 minutes of them eating, went and like took a piece of chicken or turkey from their plate, and they're like, this isn't as good as like home cooked food. No, no, you're, you're, not, you're misunderstanding what I'm saying is that, yes, I, I sometimes I'm late. But I'm talking about even food if I'm there and it's fresh and they make it. You didn't it. even what? give his pumpkin pie. Yeah, did a you chance. eat his pumpkin pie? Your pumpkin pie, and, and now you want to start shit. <laughs> Was it good? Just wait, who are you talking to? Point you. Out the good parts oh. about your pumpkin All pie. All right, you want to start some shit? <laughs> oh, I'll start. Some yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I will start Hold shit. Hold on, I want to start off by saying. Because I was, I was gonna say, I, I, you know, <laughs> oh, go ahead, babe. I want to start off by saying that I'm already not a big pumpkin pie kind of gal, so I'm not a good judge. However, I do appreciate the fact that your pumpkin pie was number one, not too sweet. Nice. Number Thank two, you. it felt both like a meal and a dessert. Why? Mm. Were there eggs in it? There's what? always. What, it tasted like a pie? fucking quiche, bro. A quiche? Yeah. Like an egg like quiche? A breakfast yeah, like quiche. A, a breakfast quiche. <laughs> now, if you said this is quiche, Delicious. Oh, yeah, that's good quiche. Delicious. Right? But when I ate it, that was no fucking pie, I'll tell you that right now, dog. <laughs> Oh, that's because you you no want no that's the because fake, there's no fucking flavor you want all the fakeness. You're <gasps> just, you've never had a real pumpkin pie. That's a real pumpkin. pie, You don't even pie, know what sweetie. a real pumpkin pie tastes like. I've fucking went to pumpkin pie to the fucking pumpkin masked stir. <laughs> did you hear what he just said? <laughs> did you hear that sentence? Did you hear that sentence? Hear that sentence, dude. That's a real <laughs> sentence, right. motherfucker. Don't ever come at me like that. Okay, I, I stand corrected. Oh no, yes, stand right. corrected. Oh, all right. I went there. I went there. I went there. When you lose, you lose. So All right. right. <laughs> like the last word, pumpkin pie mask. Yeah, I don't know what he said until the very end. Can I say something to do? Can I say something to do? Don't fucking talk to me like that, all right, in my house. I just said you want to. Give you a pie. I, said, I just said that's another thing. It's just like, don't give me a pie. Don't give me a pie. <laughs> don't give me a pie. God damn it, I can't win here. Your pie it wasn't good. It, did you eat it all? Is I it still ate, in the refrigerator? Yeah, half of it's gone. But it's still there. There's only one person eating it. It's me. <laughs> I will not eat it. Maybe it's good You're now. Lost. Maybe You're it's lost. good now. It marinated. Uh, maybe I'll eat some tonight. Yeah. Right, but I've had better pumpkin pie. Is it supposed, can he serve it with a little bit of whipped topping up top? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll do that for him. Maybe it will give him the full experience. Listen, you brought over a pie. I had a tiny little slice. I was being fucking cool about it. All right. <laughs> That'd be cool. And I, you could have let it go at that, right? <laughs> but the, if you want to challenge me, I'm going to tell you right now, friend. Thank you for baking and putting the time in, but next time I pass. <laughs> okay, I'm bringing you twice as many next year. Yeah, I pass. All I right? wish I could talk to people the way you talk to people. Yeah, yeah, All right. So fucking rude. I know it's rude, but uh, you know what, dude? It's like thank you don't, so much. Don't put in the effort. So because much. it's gonna, it's not gonna be validated. <laughs> All right, it sucked. All right, so it's a waste of fucking space in my refrigerator. Anyway. But thank you. Oh, Happy man. Thanksgiving. I enjoyed it very much, George. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> like these things. Like these See, things. Okay. I, I just oh, buy it. All right. All right. Buy. So I'm going to say this, right? Look at this right here. This right here is a rip. Savannah. A river street. 
<laughs> this right here is a River Street Sweets candy store, famous praline, right? Yeah. I've had three of these already. Can I have them? It's so good. Try the dark the chocolate. Thing. Oh. Thank, thank you See, so much. See, this is why I just buy stuff. Okay, so this Gilbert, <laughs> no, is Gilbert back on your good side after he forgot the, the cookies Hawaii, from Hawaii? The Hawaii debacle. Has he redeemed himself? Yeah. But, um, Were these pralines? He really did. And um, he also redeemed himself by, because um, I was angry with him because he was gone for so long. He didn't do the um, Patreon. Patreons. Were you there for the Patreons? You wanted Bryce. You always want Bryce here, man. Were you there? Yes, I was there. Was he for the last one? Oh yeah, that was the only one there. I forgot if he was there. Don't bake him a pie again. You disrespected me on the Patreon. I really don't wear that shirt again. You're always trying to fight, bro. Yeah, yeah. You're being very feisty today. That shirt, though, man. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Hold on over there. We got these fancy wallets, Bobby. Rich wallet. Rich wallet. I love Rich Wallet, guys. It's my favorite wallet I've ever known. I say it every week. Every week, and I completely mean it. In fact, we had a friend come over today, and we gave her a Rich Wallet because she wanted one. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Um, we're not, we have some here in the house, but we're going to only give it to give it away to special people because that's how much we believe in it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's slim. It's a slim front pocket wallet offered in carbon fiber, titanium, and aluminum. RFID protection, lifetime guarantee, oh, yeah. guys. Mm-hmm. Free shipping worldwide. 500,000 sold. 25,000 five-star reviews. It really is the future in your pocket. If you like Blade Runner, yep. if you like future shit, get it. you got to get a Ridge Wallet. Um, tell them about it. Oh, I even converted my dad to one. Uh, anyway, enough of okay, you. Okay, George. Go to RidgeWallet.com. <laughs> Christmas gifts. Shut okay, the fuck up. Enough. All right, anyway. Go to RidgeWallet.com. Uh, go, oh Ridge go to RidgeWallet.com. Go to RidgeWallet.com and use the promo code Belly for 10% of your sleek front carry wallet. Be the future with Ridge Wallet. Yeah. Aria and Sansa. Back to the show. Oh, we love Ridge Wallet. Ridge Wallet, my friend. Everyone loves it. The Have best. you guys heard of that kid who got killed off of that um, island uh, um, in the Bay of Bengal? Oh, with oh. the natives? Uh-huh, Just a little the Sentinelese. My mom Sentinelese, told me about it. is it? So this kid, he's like a missionary. He yep. wanted to spread the word of the kingdom of God. So mm-hmm. these people that are so remote that it would be such a risk for any like human action interaction mm-hmm. to even take place. Mm. He had been there before, I think. I think like he survived or something like that. Or they beat him up and then they let him go. But he never slept yeah, over there. Yeah, because they're so secluded that they don't even have like like a flu could that be flu like could kill as them. bad as the Black Plague. Oh. Yeah, they have not had any contact with... No contact yeah. at all. And so um, this guy there. wanted, kept insisting that he had, it was his mission to spread the word of God. And he got killed. And even though it's sad that a 26-year-old kid essentially is killed... I, I, it's, how, how I mean, killed. what the fuck do you think is going to happen, bro? What's going to happen is this. The government can't do Those anything? people on those is- that island, they're going to be in hell for the rest of their lives. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they have eternal damnation. Well, that's a missionary. On them. You don't kill a servant of the Lord. <laughs> You're so dumb. Not being real. I, I'm not, I, I'm being real right now. Dude, the dude trying to, reach out to a group of people that don't know about the Lord Jesus mm-hmm. right and what they do arrows they kill the messenger arrows of the Lord they're going to fucking hell we should obliterate that whole fucking island Wait, can the government do anything or are they you protected? know that he's being facetious right yeah <laughs> okay what does that mean facetious <laughs> what does it mean I, you're just saying like you need to clarify your stance on this because I feel like people will really believe that's how you feel okay can I, 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 I want to say this to people listening right now if you believe what I just said, then just turn the machine that you're listening to this podcast off and don't come back. <laughs> because if you're that dumb, right, then you've got something else happening. I don't well, think I, he's being facetious. I did a complete 180, though. I think I was, I no. was with you. What, what it is is this. <laughs> what I think here, but to, my, my real opinion, though, about it is, is that Should he, die? It, he, he died. That's sad. It's his fault. <laughs> it is. Yeah. And um, no one should be going to that island. Let them live in peace. Yep. And end the story. Wait, but but they, the arrogance, they murdered, right? They, but they murdered someone. Are Shouldn't, you kidding me? They, they, they murdered the everybody. Are you being real? Are hey, you kidding me? Are you, you being consensus? I was on an island. <laughs> you being, you see, I'm being uh, consensus? <laughs> are you being consensus right now? <laughs> for census. Uh, for census. Gilbert's always yeah. for census. Anything could kill them, Gilbert. 
They're protecting their lives essentially. They've already, they don't want any part in this society, in this world. They've lived in a, in, I don't even want to say the word primitive because I feel like they're way more advanced in a sense. Um, you know, to be able to like sustain life there without contact with the rest of the world. Like, leave them. They deserve that. True. We shouldn't tamper with that. Just wait. They haven't even discovered fire, have they? I'm no. not sure. I haven't really. I, I thought I, I studied up on this like long, long ago. Like yeah. I heard, like just read about it. But I think they might have not even discovered fire. Wow. They just have. They bows discovered and fire. You fucking idiot. I've I'm pretty sure what are they, they called have. Again? What are the people called? They're Can called you get Wi-Fi there? Sentinelese. <laughs> They're probably just faking it. It's just so they no, can protect I'm, I'm it. No, I'm being real. Can you get Wi-Fi there? No, it's way no, in the no, middle of the, the ocean. It's in the Bay of Bengal. So if it's I'm, isolated. If I'm there, I can't download any movies or nothing? No. Oh. Right, babe. All right. No, um, but I, what I feel bad, what? mostly bad about... Oh. Is not even you, you can say like oh he's so arrogant that person to think that he could just go over there and like who does he think he is trying to like spread the word of God but I feel that maybe he was like a victim of like early indoctrin indoctrination is that what he called George there is mm -hmm. I I do believe that you know the people that it's not like he, somebody said something to him he really believed it babe yeah some some old white dude right he's, he's from Asian America, by the right? way I know but he's the an American? He's American. His name is um, John Chow. Yeah, but John Chow, Chinese. but still, Asians do interact with white people, right? In they America. do. Oh, we, they do. do we? Oh, right. John George, what's up? So I just, I'm, <laughs> Shit, I'm assuming that he's from like some sort of white church. Yeah. And somebody said you have to spread the word. He's like, I'm going to this island. Oh yeah, good luck. I want you to do it. You know, I think there is, or it's just even conditioning on his part. What? What did it say? Don't know how to make fire. They don't. Nope. Wow. Stone Age people of North Sentinel. That's what you Googled? Sentinel. Sentinel. You spent yeah. all Sentinel that time leaves. trying to prove me wrong? <laughs> this you, whole time. You, is it that you can yell that? Don't know how to make fire. You don't, can do don't, that? Don't make fire. It, it, well, it felt good at the time, but now it, it doesn't, doesn't feel like good. It doesn't feel good, does it? No. no, no, it's, no. It, was, it felt really yeah. good when I discovered it. American yeah. German citizen. So you're saying the people should have been like, hey, dude, maybe don't do that. That's dangerous. You might die. They didn't help him out. That's exactly 100%. And also, it's like, um,. I believe that in many ways, Christianity across the world, like in Nigeria, is it Nigeria where those Christians went? Was it Ghana? In where Christians went to an African, you know, country to to pre preach I think Christianity, it was Uganda. and then they made homosexuality not only illegal but a death sentence. Ooh, stoning. Yeah, so, um, and white Christians from America went to these other countries, white Christians. Hey, uh, probably Islam seven, has done the same thing in Africa, so, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's all, it is, yeah, we, we've done a little bit over there. My aunt and uncle were missionaries in Africa, actually. Do they preach that homosexuality is an abomination and that, 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 that they're going to go to hell? I don't know if they does your country, not. does your religion believe that? Uh, low key, low level. It's yeah, but they like do big, believe that. It's not a big. It, 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 so it, let me ask the you conservative this. folks. It's a, if I was, if I was gay beliefs, and I was same, a part of the Seven Day, and what, what are they called? Seven Day. Seventh Day Adventist. Advertise. SDA. Advertise. He's being facetious right now. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. SDA, baby. SDA. SDA, right? Mm -hmm. If I was a part of that organization and I went up to, do you have pre, like, uh, do you have a, a reverend? Who, who's the head pastor? Pastors, yes. Pastors. I went to a pastor and I go, hey, dude, uh, pastor, what? Give me a name. Pastor Kimmel. Okay, Mr. Pastor Kimmel. Mm -hmm. Hey, Pastor Kimmel, I just want to let you know that I think I'm gay. What would they say? Uh, most of the conservative ones would say like, "Oh, yeah, well, we'll pray the gay. We'll pray. We'll pray for you then." Like, oh, I think. that's pray the nice. Gay, the pretty, yeah. the, but they wouldn't try to like convert, convert me or. We don't have those conversion camps in Adventism. No, I, I think there's a few very conservative like pastors and like I've heard of people getting sent to these, but actually the conversion camps are just fuck fests. Because oh, really? it's all the gay, yeah, it's all the gay kids finally around other gay kids. So it's a oh. theme park. Oh. So you want to get sent there? I've heard yeah. of this, like that. It does not work at all. Yeah. It's just it like, backfires. I'm not even gay. And I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's right? just like a summer a camp for them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Father, if you go to the right ones, I'm yeah, sure they're yeah. shitty yeah. ones. So. I don't want to be gay anymore. Send me to the camp. Yeah. He comes back with no asshole. <laughs> it just disappears. Yeah, it just they, they, they took it out. That dad. Yeah, he was fucked out of him. Um, so they don't believe in it. No. Yeah. So um, I think that it, listen, 
you know, I, I know there's a lot of religious people listening to our podcast. And I'm going to be completely honest with you. And I, this is not funny. This is not a comedy thing that I'm going to say. But what I really believe, I believe this. If you just took away some of the weirdness out of your religion, if you took away, like, um, you know, the gay thing, right? Mm-hmm. Stop saying that being gay is an abomination and you accept them into your religion. That would be an easier sell for me, right? If you stop saying um, that women don't have the right to choose. Or that we have dominion over animals. Yeah. There's a bunch of things, little things that they change, and I'd be more like, you know, I can, I could stand by the God stuff, right, if, you know, without these little weird things that they, they have that I don't agree with. Well, why are you smiling? Because I gave a look at the dominion to animals, and then Clyla gave me a look back. What's it, what do you mean the dominion of animals? I don't. I think that people mistreat animals more because uh, it, because of the Bible. I think there's a lot of literature that tells people that they have to have like dominion over animals. I think that animals and humans um, coexisted in a more sustainable way um, previous to religion. That's what I believe. I don't know if there's any like truth or history to that, but that's just what I think. Mm. Based on what I've read as a good Catholic girl <laughs> growing up is that they don't treat Catholic people don't have they don't treat animals especially in the well. Philippines I've heard the sto- Philippines it's horrible I've heard some horror stories yeah man hmm. and they don't even have a second thought about kindness to animals you yeah. know you know I I honestly um, and you guys are gonna mock me and chastise me <laughs> about what I'm about to say facesis but I'm leaning more toward whatever that is you're talking about what is it? About being um, free of eating animal and, me- and mistreating them. By me eating like them. vegan? By me eating them, I'm just, you know, I'm a part of the problem. Uh, I, I don't necessarily think that I'll there's... eat the fuck out of fish, but other than that. <laughs> so just mean. mammals. Yeah. But you see that guy, like that fish that visits that guy every day and he's like getting petted and stuff. I mean, they could be sentient too. Um, I don't necessarily think there's... Um, in some, I don't think it's wrong inherently in its core for the human body to like crave meat and to eat meat. It's just the way that meat is put on your plate these days. It's just wasteful. It's really bad for the environment and we're doing it in such like, it's in a really like irresponsible way. Inhumane, yeah. mass production and it's every, most of it ends up not even in your belly. You most of see- it just goes out to waste, you know, and it's just... I don't like the way it's done. In, that's why when I go out and I get mussels or, you know, food from the ocean, yeah, I don't feel bad. I use my body to do and that. It's very delicious. But keep doing it. not everyone has the mussels, luxury to do that. Mm. Like even though you know someone like Joe Rogan <clears throat> goes out, you know, shoots his elk. Wonderful. He does it in a way that's that is essentially guilt-free. He used his legs and his muscles to do that. But that is a rich man's sport mm-hmm. to be able to go out and for a weekend and shoot elk with your buddies, right? And not everyone has yeah. can do that. You know, not everyone can take a trip to the ocean like me and be like, yeah, I'm going to spearfish. It's still, I find it to be a luxury, mm. right? Not, people have nine to fives. They have kids. They can't, they can't do that. So it's easy for me to say, but it's actually, you know, like if you go up to YouTube and you see this, what are you typing? Um, baby chicks being ground up. Well, all right, baby. We're already talking no, no, about I know, this. I know, but and I know. Scene. I know. Thank you so know, much, Bobby. No, <laughs> How long did it take you? To... What? Baby chicks been ground up. Have you seen that? I don't. No, no I, I don't want to see it. I'm not going to show you. I don't need to see it. I'm not going to show you. But sounds horrible. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. That was the first time when I saw that video, a video like that, mm. where I went, "Oh, there's something inherently wrong with that." Mm. Of taking little yellow, cute little chicks, in, into a machine, and they just get ground up, you know what I mean, into like red, <laughs> right? And then back, then then like, you eat nuggets from them. I didn't know those were nuggets. Yeah. So my point is, is that. Anyway, wow, what a tiger <laughs> belly! Wow, wow. Wait, wow, are you wow, tra- wow. wait? Are you going vegan? Is that what you're saying? There's no, he has to go vegetarian first, then vegan. I'll go vegetarian first, and wow. then vegan. Vegan is, is veganism tough. is tough, man. You know, I, how about I this? Three how about weeks, this? I did three weeks. Remember? 
He was oh, the ve- vegetarian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, were, earlier this year, remember? I remember that. He did three weeks, and he actually did a really good job. Uh, I cheated once. Oh, oh, you did? Wait, reveal it. Just reveal it. <laughs> Tim might as well tell me now. I'm going to tell you now. He grilled that baby chicken. Was it only once, babe? <laughs> uh, only one time. Bobby, I'm going to tell once. you. You're a fucking liar, bro. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you how I did it. You promised me to. You, could... you, you swore on your parents' Ooh. life. Ooh. And my dad's dying. Jesus <laughs> God. So, there we go. <laughs> you know. Well, I guess that's logical. <laughs> no, but when we remember we went to Malibu. Yeah. And I go, I'm gonna go get taquitos. Yes. Do you remember? Yep. And you go, do they have potato? I go, they have potato taquitos. Yeah. And I walked in there. They have potato taquitos. They didn't have any. I asked. They have potato tacos. I want taquitos. <laughs> they go, do you have potato taquitos? No, they goes, no, senor. We have the chicken ones. And we, I mean, we drove all the way over there from to Malibu, mm-hmm. and I'm like, I have to eat it really quickly here. So I ate a chicken taquito on there. Mm, that's fine. You angry? I'm not angry that you <laughs> ate the taquito. Oh I'm God. angry that you were so. You I, sh- so- I shouldn't even say anything. Why did I say something? Why did you say that? It always <laughs> comes out eventually, because then you think, oh, it's a safe. It's now it's safe to say. I can say it now. It's safe. She won't get mad. But you're you are mad. I'm I'm mad about the lie. Oh my God! She's mad again at me. <laughs> you cannot be trusted. <laughs> See, look at her, look what she's doing. How many weeks God, in was that? How untrustworthy! Like three, two and a half weeks. In. Oh, so you still—it was today. two and a half weeks ago. What do you mean? It was two and a half weeks in. Oh, so it was two towards and a half the weeks end. In. Yeah, like it was almost. That's done. halfway through. He didn't even last the month that we had um, decided. <laughs> Why'd you say that? God, you had it, man. I would have almost had your. I would have almost trusted you. You were almost there, babe. You would have earned my trust. Are you angry, angry right now? But you know what? I trust you for coming forward eventually. A little late. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, Can I get some it, credit? That's all that matters, right? Yes. That's all that matters. I right? do credit you now for, th- for, for finally being honest. Yeah. It's never too late to be honest. Well, then just throw that out there. Don't make me look. You should shame me. I, I take shame. that back. What else have you lied about? That's it. Tell me everything. <laughs> that's, it. The time. that's it. About what? Oh my god! The way the look on your face right now is is of a man with many secrets. <laughs> secrets! I told you everything already. Look how defensive you are. Anyway, give me the uh, actually. The, <laughs> in when I was younger, I would want to know everything of every detail. Now I just don't. Like don't don't tell me if it's gonna upset if me. There's, if there's anything that makes me feel guilty, it'll I'll eventually come out. I don't think so. Oh yeah, I've told you everything. He just did the food one. I've told you everything. Does, it, he it doesn't feel guilty out. about the taquito. I do feel guilty about it. Really? Yeah, because I was in my head for the last six months. I'm like, how do I say it? <laughs> Wait for six <laughs> months. Yeah, how do I say it? Because I felt bad about it. Even after I ate it. Yeah. And it was walking back to the car, and they asked me, "How was the potato t- taquito?" And I go, "It was so good." But I was like, "Oh my god, you just cheated." But. Don't you stop and wonder why I didn't go to the taquito place with you and check on you and why I stayed in a car? Because trust. Yeah. Not only that, but there was a part of me that thought, you know what? I don't want to see him. I don't want to catch him in a lie. Is that why you didn't go in there I with me? I knew you were going to get those rolled chicken taquitos, babe. You really knew that? You I think in, really inherently really, I did. I think you knew. Yeah. And well, there is a reason why we both have a problem. Then do I we didn't. Not? I didn't. Yeah, I didn't want to do the gotcha moment. I didn't yeah. want to go there and be like, "Why are you doing this?" No, Chris Hansen here. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna, you know, Jesus take the wheel. <laughs> yeah. The last, the question, please. On helpful advice with Bobby Kalila. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you revealed that. I, you're I, I feel like she might stab you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a long-time listener with a question for you. When I was 18 years old, my brother, who was 24 years old, died from a sudden illness. This was a great loss to me and my family, and that experience modeled me into the man I am today. Ten years have passed since then, and I still have no idea how I should answer the simple question, do you have any siblings? This is especially difficult on dates. On one occasion, it was brought up on our second date, and I responded, I did. He died when I was 18. And then we proceeded to eat pasta in silence because the lady I was with didn't know how to respond. On a later occasion, I responded with no. And that lady proceeded to tell me how awesome it is to grow up with siblings and how I missed out. And when she found out later that I had lied, she got really upset and felt very guilty. 
Uh, how does one respond to this question while telling the truth and respecting the memory of my brother and not making shit awkward with new friends and dates? No, it's not Nosotros on you. Nosotros papaya, Joseph. I'll tell, I'll tell you. Tell Joseph. That girl who sat in silence when you told her your brother died is a weak human. If someone tells me, hey, if, even if we just meet, and you tell me, hey, do you have siblings, George? No. No, I mean, just say, like, just yes. say someone you died. You know how to yes. do improv or... Uh... I was improvising this scenario. <laughs> God damn it, Bobby. <laughs> the video. George. No. No, no and. Yeah. Um, you have siblings. That's not... God, when the scenario calls for it, Gilbert. <laughs> the... God damn it, you know fucking... Don't throw okay. your book uh, at you. Yes, ahead, I have yeah. siblings. Do it again. Okay, yes, I have a brother, a brother and a sister. A brother. Oh, yeah. Then you say they, they passed away. We're just replaying this. Whole let, let me do it. I'll okay, be man. the guy. <laughs> Fuck you, man. You had your chance, bro. Thank you. Yeah. Are you, me. Go ahead. Are you enjoying your virgin mojito? Oh, very delicious. Thank you. Oh. I'm, even though I'm paying for it. Uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Why would you throw that in there? Why would you say that? Interesting. I'm just letting you know that I'm the man of the thing, so. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet of you. I'm going to pay for your to. mojito, too. Oh, that's so nice. Why? Yeah, money. Uh, wow. <laughs> my name is Bobby I don't Lee. Even want my to name ask is you yeah, about yeah, your yeah. My name is Bobby. Oh, network te- television. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> Do you have any siblings? Yeah. I well, I did. What happened? What well, a brother named Jimmy. Mhm. Um and he when I was 19 and he was 14, he imploded. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm so sorry to hear that. Thanks for bringing it up. <laughs> No, I'm sorry if that was a sore spot for you. We it, can talk it really about something was. else if you no. want. Would you want? Do you want another virgin mojito? In front of me. I mean, if you want to talk about it, yeah, tell me everything. Well, I, we we were just we we're playing basketball, mm-hmm. and then I go, Jimmy. <laughs> right? I go, what's up, Jimmy? And he goes, what? And I just said, Jimmy. I kept doing it, <laughs> right? And he goes, what? And I go, what? I said, what? Right? And then all of a sudden. And he just exploded into, we don't know what, doctors don't know. Wow. He just spontaneously combusted. And how did your family deal with Sorry that? Sorry to interrupt, Brownie Alamo. <laughs> oh, oh, thank, thank you. you so thank much. About that. I'm paying for that, oh, by the way. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, are, you, are, you network, yeah, yeah. are you a network television? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. I am a network television. You are television. a man and dominant. Thank you. Thank you. Did you know that his brother imploded at the basketball court? Oh, I can't be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah, it, so he imploded. Is this, is this a sore subject for you? This oh, no, it feels great. To think about my brother exploding in front of me. Of course, lady, it's fucking sore. Oh, I'm really sorry that happened to you. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> you're welcome? Hey, sorry, wrong See, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. No. Do, if, no, do it with George again now. Let's, no, I don't want to do it with George I want to do it. I want to do it now. Okay, Ready? Okay. I'm gay. We're get both gay. Okay. <laughs> or you can just be friends. Right. No, I want to be gay. Okay. And <laughs> I want to be gay and we met on Grinder. Two words have never been spoken. Someone edit yeah, that. We met at, we, we, yeah, we met on Grinder. Sure. Okay. Um, hey. Oh, hey, Bobby. Hey. Um, are you enjoying your mojito? I'm loving it. Thank you so much for paying. <laughs> oh, I can't do this. I can't watch. I can't watch. I can't. Keep watching. Put your head up. You're going to learn a lot of things from this. Yeah. Well, you're welcome. You're welcome. Anyway, um, oh my god, do you have like a brother or sister? Uh, n- nope. I mean, yes, but I, well, I did. What happened? Well, they were both astronauts, and you know the Challenger. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. That yeah, that thing, the Challenger. Well, <laughs> do you know they Challenger? were watching. Uh, but they were watching on TV at school, and yeah. then they left, and both got run over by a car. Oh, suck my dick. Hey, sorry to interrupt. Brownie a la cock. <laughs> yeah, thank you. No problem. Suck my dick. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And, and scene. scene. Very wow. good. good stuff, George. We have to be good serious redemption. now because this guy really oh, did yeah, yeah. lose oh, yeah, yeah. his oh, brother. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is a real thing. I forgot. I'm so sorry, dude. Oh, I'm so your brother really did. I'm sorry. Joseph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joseph. Be real. I Joseph. think that if you're with on a date with somebody and someone asks you if you have siblings, I think it's best to be transparent. And say, yeah, yeah, you got to be honest. When dude. I was 18 years old, I lost I, I lost my brother, and it was mm-hmm. a really a pivotal point. It was a very a terrible time for my family. You know, I, it's been 10 years, and I miss him every day. Mm-hmm. And the girl should be able to handle that kind of information and say, you know what, I'm really sorry to hear that. Mm-hmm. 
you know, siblings, you know, I, I just things like that. Ask him or ask. If I were a girl, I'd ask, ask about the brother. Yeah. What were you guys like growing up? Like, were you guys really close? Did you guys, you know, about the memories he has with his brother? That information shouldn't be something that turns um, um, a dinner, you know what I mean, no. into silence. It should be something that you should. I would be so grateful to receive that kind of intimate information. Someone share that yeah. on the first date with somebody. I would hold that and be like, you know what? That's thank you for sharing that. Mm -hmm. You're opening up to me. I would feel honored to know that about you. So, I think that you should continue to tell people that you do have a brother. He's passed, but you do have a brother. Yeah, you're also not. You're you know you. You're honoring him by, you know, but talking about him, by talking right? about him, yeah. and, and and but you do it in a way of like, I love the guy, I miss him so much. And if this girl's real at all, mm -hmm. and and a cool chick, she's gonna be completely like, number one, she's like, oh, this guy's vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Love that. You love the vulnerability, and number two, he's like an honest guy. Like there's no. I think that's it's a good thing. If you lie or you make it weird, mm -hmm. that's not cool. That's right. not good. And um, I'm gonna tell George to take improv classes. <laughs> he has. He's like, he wants to advance. Oh, I'm, I'm ready to go back because uh, I'm out of it. I like. Uh, let's take one together. New Year. Uh, I was. You I take was, one. <laughs> she was like, she nope. I, we're doing I'm it. Already I'm already frightened by nope, it. Nope. That's perfect. You please take that's, it. That's that's why it's. The only time you expand is when you're afraid of something. That's like living at the edge of your comfort zone is where life is lived. That's the exciting part I of life. I take that, George Kimmel. Nice quote. You know, Natasha Leggero, it. me, and Moshe Kasher want to start a comedy school. Do yeah. it. You should do it. A stand-up comedy. We're being real. But mm -hmm. like a non-profit. A non-profit. So every, every dime that we get is going to be through, we're we'll probably for animals or... Um, Probably supporting the whoever the Democratic presidential nominee is going to be, but um, <laughs> Cortez is it Cortez? These days? Whoever, but um, it's not going to be not. No. But um, yeah, we're thinking about doing a six-week stand-up course in LA, like so a workshop. It oh. will be. Um, I, I have a feeling that it'll be people will want to take it, so we're going to have submissions. Mm. Awesome. It's not going to be pretty people. It's going to be people that we think that. By looking at them and seeing, well, I guess we'll have an essay or something and reading about them. Just, you know, we can't have everyone in it, though. Mm. I'm afraid we're going to get hundreds of people. Well. You don't think so? Natasha, me, and Moshe? No, I'm just saying that's not a bad thing. Then you have But we can only have 20 people in the thing, right? Make it competitive. The next time, the next the next six weeks, the next time you do it, even more people will try but to But I also it. said um, we should tape each one. And maybe there's something in there, just even a shell mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of us teaching this class. Oh yeah, you know, yeah. Scripting. Maybe an internet show or something. Maybe something funny could, could could occur just by us. Man, I'm getting flashbacks of the Cho show I thought I was in. I wrote my little essay. Are you? I told buddy? everybody I knew, like Kalila and Steve, to Hold like on. put it Hold on a second. Are you? And then I did not get in. I'm so I'm just seeing that this is going to happen again. I'm going to submit my essay. I'm going to do my you're best. Not gonna I'm gonna get, you're not Bobby's getting in like, this class. You're not getting in I know, this Bobby. Class. I'm going to get in. You're not getting and in. And then class. it's like the first day. It's like, nope, you didn't get in. Yeah. I'm going to hear like my friends like, oh yeah, I got in. It was great. It was so much fun. It was like the we time of my life. We never talked about this. So you got you didn't get. Um, to go to the Cho show, you didn't get selected. No, I did not. I'm but sorry, George. Every everybody, like every guest on the Stevie Weeby show that's like been on, like comes in, like oh, it was like the most moving moment of my life. Like it was so, it changed me. I'm so. Close what does that with say everybody. about you? Bobby didn't go. That my friends didn't back I me didn't up. Go. And like I didn't and go. get me an entrance. In. I didn't that's go. what it says. I didn't get accepted in. <laughs> you didn't. You got go, accepted. Babe. You, yeah. got, you got an invite. Babe. I got an invite. <laughs> I got one. I know. I didn't even go. Anyway, thanks I don't for think listening. I could have used yours. <laughs> Any shows? Oh, yeah. Yes. Tell them. Wait, when does this come out, George? Mm. Uh, this is... Today is... Uh, the December 5th. This one comes... Uh, this is uh, the December 5th. So I'll be yeah. at the San Diego Comedy Company. Oh, yeah. American San Comedy Diego Com Com American Comedy Company in San Diego. I wish this came out today because the episode with Eric Griffin, I had just gotten a facial extraction and I look really oily. <laughs> And now I never want that episode to come out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks yeah, great yeah, now. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, thanks, Gil. Boom, nice show it off. Nice. Show it off. Anyway, I got to get ready. Thank well, you. Guys, wow. Tremendous what episode. episode. What Are an episode. Are we doing episode. some Zero. Ha house cleaning? We'll be right back for some house clipping. House clipping. <laughs> we'll be right back Let's with go. some house clapping.
Oh, and we are back. Where's leprosy from? Is it armadillo or an anteater? Huh? I didn't even what know. Do what does that oh, mean? Oh, the, the etymology or the... Um, <laughs> one of those two animals harbors the pathogen for leprosy. All I know about it is like as soon as people like started washing regularly, they got rid of it. It's just a, it's a cleanliness thing like L- that you didn't have back in the oh. Jesus armadillo. times. So I'm safe. Yeah. I think well, leprosy no, no, is... If you got it. <laughs> How armadillos can spread leprosy. Armadillos are the only other animals besides humans to host leprosy bacillus. Oh, it's a bacteria. Mm. Um, uh, so they can host it. So they can get leprosy. Interesting. But you know how some animals are like birds. They carry a lot of like viruses, but those viruses don't affect them. Yeah. Mm. It's not the case. I think that it actually can. Who cares about fucking armadillos <laughs> and, that and was leprosy? Nature time with Kalila. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? Okay, what else is up, guys? This is as Gilbert called it earlier. Uh, house clapping. House clapping. House clapping. House clapping. Yeah. George, anything we need to know? Everything's on your sheet, sir. I already typed oh, it up earlier today and then forgot about it completely. What sheets do we have? But guys, really, um, check out our uh, Patreon. Last week's Patreon ended on Ooh, a cliffhanger. Big cliffhanger. I don't even know what happened. I wasn't there, and I, it sounded intense. <laughs> it was you, intense. Uh, I'll say it was really yeah. game. It was very Sopranos Game of Thrones. Gilbert read the comments. May on I the, say why it was intense? Because I wasn't allowed to expound on my answer. I I <laughs> yes, gave an yes. answer, and then all of a sudden, George is like, click. He all turns I heard it was, off. N- oh, no, dead silence. Hiya, Hawaii, hiya. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, I need, I'm, I'm glad I'm subscribed to the Patreon. That's what I'm trying to say. You bastard. <laughs> you fucking bastard. You clicked it right before I even had a moment to like talk about it. Yeah, that was I mean, not it was very maybe Games on the of next Thronian. Very Games of Thronian, they said. Yeah, very, or was very it? Sansa yeah. Arya ish. Did I say did it sound really like like I was? That I'll was just a Games this. of Throne ending. That's yeah. what I, that's what they I'm were saying. I'm just sitting in like Alpharetta, Georgia, and all my phone starts blowing up. Just long ass comments. I'm like, what happened? What comments? Where? <laughs> on the, on the Patreon. Patreon. Just yeah. long ass comments. I was like, good god, I gotta check that out. Do they hate me? No, they don't. They're just interested. A lot of them more, agreed with you. They're actually. just more like, Kalila's right. A lot of them were like. Finally, uh, finally, we've been waiting for this. Oh God! But you know that you know what I mean. He's a king at the end of the day. You know what I mean. The king doesn't need my approval for the way he lives. But if you guys are interested know and are interested in this discussion at all, definitely check out our Patreon. We have a lot of exclusive and um, um, really, really more private <laughs> information on there. On the private side of things, yeah. Yeah, we're a little bit freer. Yeah, a little bit freer on there. And we do a little. More, we experiment with some stuff. We even did one with. Uh, we were talking to fans on a Discord. We let people sit in on our Patreon live. How yeah, I need to figure out, out Discord a little. More. It was fun. I need to figure out Discord a little more since that was the only time I'd ever used it. It was a test. Yeah. It was successful. Well, we need to retest it. Yeah. Uh, so make sure you check those episodes out. Uh, going to, by going to Patreon.com/slash Tigerbelly. Uh, yeah, you can sign up and kind of see what we have there uh, for you guys to check out. Um, also, thank you to our sponsors, uh, 23me, Brooklyn, and Ridge Wallet for 30% off on any Sansa 23andMe and kit. Aria. Go to 23andMe.com slash Tigerbelly for 20% off the best sheets you'll ever sleep on. Go to Brooklinen.com and use the promo code Tigerbelly. And for 10% off your Sleem, Sleem? <laughs> I can't, right? Guys, I haven't been on a mic in so long that it, like it's hard to talk. It's weird if you don't talk out loud. I like loud. it. You should have not even like, you should have not even stopped. You should have just said Sleem They're so and slim sleek. and sleek. They're well, slim. For 10% off on your Sleem, Slack, and Frint Harry <laughs> Wallet, go to RidgeWallet.com and use the code BELLY. Kalila, any news from you in the I world? Just, I just want to know if you guys are really going to come with me to the Philippines. I actually have to go... Oh, out really, Gilbert? No, oh, to, oh, 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 your pre-excuse? You, no, did, I, did you I, even know what time it is? Do you even, did you even get the dates? Let him sentence. speak, George Kimmel. I oh, you're to. a bad improviser. <laughs> Whoa. Someone was upset about earlier's, <laughs> earlier's fail on the mic. Okay, I get interrupted George. every time. There's no... <laughs> You know what? I am so proud of you for not great. letting him speak, actually. That, that was, was the first time you just were great. like, I'm going to keep going. It was so funny, though, because it was like, okay, she's like, George, do the scenario with me. And everyone knows the rule is yes and. The first thing George says, no. <laughs> Kyle was like, but the best thing was Kalala's face was like, uh, dumbass. <laughs> that, 
You're still at Improv 101, you dummy. Hey, I didn't finish it. 301, I... you learned that you know to agree with them for just... so what they want. Your fr- oh, her really? face? Yeah. I don't know anything uh, you know, about improv. Well, if, you and George are taking yeah, improv. That's why when you said no, gonna, I was like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> I had a fucking, ah, what am I going to say? That was so funny. No. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking short-circuited. You oh. agree to the scene, but not to everything that they want in it. That's true. Oh, okay. So, so you he was, He's basically saying, yeah, he was actually yes ending. I was just giving him a hard time. George oh. did advance improv. He actually <laughs> I'm too rusty. No, no, I, I am so, I don't. Uh, but yes, what was it? Oh, yeah, I do have to go to the film. I was... I told my grandparents because they're leaving the Philippines, I think, in May. Yeah. So I have to visit at some point. Before then. Before then. But I also make sure it's not during pilot season. I think there's a gap. It's going to be during pilot season. I can probably go like end of April. Well, we're not going at no end of April. Why not? <laughs> That's not even in our timeline. What are you trying to Because out? end of April is so, it's hot as a, a ball lot. sack. It's not that hot. Is it hot? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I could fry six eggs on your forehead. Is it like LA there? at its worst? No, it's humid, dude. Are you it's kidding great. me, Gilb? I have not been out of the country. I have okay, no stamps on me, my passport. Let me give you an explanation of just how hot it is in the Philippines. Like, when you're sitting in, like, if you're sitting in, like, a cab with somebody, right, usually, do your thighs adhere to the to the person next to you's thighs? Normally? Normally. No. No. Well, in the Philippines, they will. <laughs> if you've never had your thigh attach itself to the thigh of the person next to you, you've never been in equatorial weather. Damn. I guess I haven't been in equatorial weather. And then you have, I have a permanent sweat mustache. As soon as I step out of the shower, I'm already sweating. I hate that feeling. It's wonderful. It's great for your circulation. You're Filipino. I bet you anything your, your um, psoriasis will go away. Probably, right? Yeah. You're going to thrive out there. You don't know. Come on. You have to give it a well, shot. When are you trying to go? Uh, maybe like late Feb. We were going to do a podcast out there. We were <laughs> we were going to try to shoot something out there. You know, like a fish out of water show for a Bobo. Maybe you and Bobo. I feel your voice is getting higher. That's, that's I'm trying to sell one. this to you. I, yeah, I'm sold. Yeah, right. But you have to come We're going to do our own pilot, basically. Yeah. You're not going to be in our, our pilot season? <laughs> You're not, yeah. Are you? Are as you long as I get to improvise with George, that's all that matters. <laughs> that's all I want. Yeah, I think that it'll be fun. We can re- still record out there. We can meet our two fans from the Philippines. No, we have a bunch. I look at the lips and numbers. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay, sweet, we sweet. 14, it's probably just 14. my cousins. <laughs> it's just, all my family members. It's just all Jules. cute. All. Yeah, podcasting is not a very big it's thing there yet. It hasn't quite like variety shows. Yet. Love it. They love it over there. I feel like we should have our own variety show. Mm-hmm. Who says it's not in the works? Who says we haven't already rehearsed and perfected one? Check out the Patreon. I won't be dancing, <laughs> but someone will. Someone will. I might be dancing. She might. I'm Filipino. It might be in my blood. Uh, Clara, where can we follow you? <laughs> you can follow me on all forms of social media. Even though I'm not really on, I don't do Snapchat. Do you, does anyone still do Snapchat? I stopped. Nah. I stopped. Every, IG story kind of um, took, took the place over. of that. Yeah. At um, Calamity K. That's, let me spell this right. K H A L I L. See, you fucked me up because you were mouthing Sleek. it. Sleek. Slick. K H A L A M I T Y K. Did you spell that right? I don't even know. I did. And then. Um, George, where can they follow you? Where can all the hot chicks? Oh, I just want to give a shout out to Kiwan Lee. I think it's Kiwi Lee. Let me find it real quick. Say yours real quick. Have you hooked up with a fan ever? Like hooked up, like made out with? I'm not talking about taking them on a date. Like actually hooked up. I have. Uh, Back in the early days of Tiger Belly. That was like the... Ooh. Was that No, when I first... uh, (laughs) It was when I quit my job. Yeah. Right when I like the week that I quit, I went to a Mangchi show. We had fans then. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I thought we were just doing it to ourselves. That was the I only we time I ever met her. I, I haven't. I thought we were talking to ourselves for the first two years. <laughs> An echo chamber, just us. Uh, hey, babe. Instagram, Kiwi underscore Lee. That's my shout out. K I W I underscore L E E E E. Nice. You look nice, baby. You look like a sushi chef. And my shout out is to A Poon Poon from Atlanta, Georgia. Shout out to you. Thank you for buying our merch. Um, 
So, guys, that's our show. Uh, follow us on Instagram at Tiger Belly, on the Twitter at The Tiger Belly. Email us any questions like unhelpful advice or concerns at thetigerbelly at gmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my gosh. George just struck babe, Bobby don't, Lee. Don't, not the head, babe. You can touch any any part of his body. Whoa. Oh, Is you that, hit him in his nuts, yeah. George? You sack tap Bobby Lee. Yeah. Babe, come here. Are you okay, babe? Come here. Oh, well, I think. Um, come here, babe. You okay? This is the last episode you guys Don't will- touch him! He touched me first! He smacked me in the head! Guys, George Campbell, Sorry. UCB Advance Improv 401. <laughs> Check it out. Uh, that's our show. Enjoy the rest of your week, your evening. Um, On the kitchen counter! Okay, this is the craziest ending ever. Bye! Bye! Bye.